Welcome back to the Job Travel Series. My name is Kevin. Joanne and I are the hosts of the Job Travel Series. The first two letters of Joanne and the first two letters of Kevin make up the word joke. That is how we got our name for the Job Travel Series. Please let me share our continued adventures of our thrilling Rocky Mountain Harley Davidson Adventure Series on May 16th and 17th, 2024. For the previous two days, May 14th and May 15th, we had been riding the Million Dollar Highway in San Juan Scenic Skyway. On May 16th, Joanne and I loaded the motorcycles up on the trailer in Durango, Colorado and traveled to Taos, New Mexico for our next stop in our thrilling Rocky Mountain Harley-Davidson Adventure Series. As we traveled from Durango to Pagosa Springs, we traveled south on US 84 toward Chama, New Mexico. Just west of Chama, we got onto US 64 East and traveled up and over the Brazos Pass at Brazos Summit of the Tusas Mountains out onto the Taos Volcanic Field in the Rio Grande Valley. Once we arrived at Taos, and as an intimidation and a deterrence, I used a large two and a half inch link logging chain that is extremely heavy and two extremely heavy locks to attach the trailer to the tow hooks of the truck. We also had to park the motorcycles away from the front door. This left us with a feeling that our motorcycles and trailer and truck were exposed to theft. Once we settled in, we rode our bikes to the Taos Plaza for some sightseeing and dinner. It was okay, nothing flashy, just old Southwest architecture with simple, laid-back, easy-going atmosphere. On May 17th, we decided to have a full day of riding from Taos to one of Joe's childhood vacation spots in Cuchera, Colorado. Then we returned through La Vida, La Vida Pass, Fort Garland, at Fort Garland, we turned south back to Taos, riding along the west side of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. We had high hopes to experience the sights, including Angel Fire, Eagle's Nest, Ute Park, Cimarron, Raton, Trinidad, Stonewall, and Cachera. Then we would continue our sightseeing that would include La Vida, La Vida Pass, Mule Shoe, Fort Garland, San Luis, Custillo, Cerro, Cuesta, and Arroyo Seco. So please sit back and enjoy riding along with us. We know we are having issues with Joe's mic. We are working on a fix for future videos. Thank you for watching. It's kind of fun. It's too bad so far. It looks like this is just a housing addition out here. Like there's houses in. Right. Oh. Oops, that's a little bump. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm in sixth gear now. Oh my. Alright, there's cattle on you. Yeah, it's probably open range. Down the fifth right now. Okay. Winding road ahead, watch for a big truck. Okay. Please use caution. Oh, look at this 20, Joanne. Ooh, yeah. Uh, some people didn't make it. I'm thinking they didn't either. Okay. It looked awesome. Yeah. You did a wonderful job. 
keep your head up around the corner looking out at the head of yourself. You know, this time of the morning, if the roads can get a little bit weird with the shadows and the Moisture. direction of the sun. Just like the shadow, if it's a whole ground, you know, it's just on the end of this thing. I, I don't know, I might have to do to the governor. I don't know that it would do any good, but... I might just have to do that. Her and the Secretary of Transportation. And include the Secretary of Transportation, yes. Hole oh, right there. I saw that. There's a hole over there. Yeah, there's so much winter damage that still hasn't been repaired yet. Yeah, hole oh, right there. Big hole. Missed, big, yeah, missed oh. it. Thank you. Saved my life. Wow. See the valley floor now? Wow, these are rough roads. Yeah, this is terrible. That looks rough over there. Okay. Rough road right here. Rough. Yep, yep. Rough, rough. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. It was in the shadows too. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's That's... a hole right there. Okay. Wow. People are just going to have to get backed up. I am not going fast on this road. No. No, you're it's doing not fine. That I can't handle it. No need to wreck our bikes on these potholes. Alrighty, I see you. Wow. Alright, we're on the valley floor now. Passed with care. Oh, we're at Angel Fire Village. Yep. Yeah. yeah, this road is in bad shape. There's a Pretty dogs. Pretty dogs. This memorial is right there. So oh, cool. Oh, wow. 55. They have definitely got a healthy population of prairie dogs up here. Yes, they do. See that fog coming up off that yeah. off that lake. I'm gonna ride up there beside you for a little bit on this straightaway. Get some video of you at that background, that movie, that that mountain in the background. This might be called Eagle's Nest. Oh, okay. I tried to, I, I was looking at this town as a weekend destination for us to come up. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a dip in the road. And what, you didn't find anything? No, they got a couple little hotels, but it's just too remote. Yeah. Great. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So, in order to make the loop left here is where we'll make the loop back to Taos. Okay. okay. But we're going to go to Cimarron and then on up to Raton. Okay. But this little town of Eagle's Nest, New Mexico, little lake here. little town so far. Ah, so far. Very nice. Look at this camper here to the right. Lovely. Nice big one. I 
loves all, all their flags. Yeah, yep. Yeah. We get the simmer on, let's take a break. Okay. Or if there's a if there's a pull off, mountaintop pull off, you know where we can take some pictures. Let's okay. we'll, we'll do that. We've been Fine. going for about almost an hour. It's time for us to take a break. Very impressed with this so far. Yeah, this lane, yeah, this this road right here, yeah, so far. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, nice one. 20. Wow. Looks like we're gonna loop that back to underneath ourselves. Mm-hmm. It's not a U-turn, that's a P-turn. That's a P-turn, yeah. Just about came back to where we started. <laughs> yeah, just right up there. Yeah. Now we're going into the Cimarron Canyon State Park. Oh, cool. Look at the rock formations on the left up. Straight ahead, that looks cool. Uh -huh. I'm freezing. Twenty five. That looks like something out of a movie. Uh huh. Currently in Cimarron, New Mexico. Just stopped in here to take a little break. Quaint little town. Home of the Cimarron Rams. Highway 64 east of Cimarron, east of a little bitty spot in the road called Maxwell. Man, I challenge this to be one of the most desolate pieces of highway in the United States. No curves, just as straight as it can be. I don't know how many miles I can see up there, maybe eight or ten miles straight ahead. Maybe more than that, I have no idea. We've been on one in Colorado that's a long one, but it's got a few curves and stuff in it. This one is not. And this one's rough. It's just like 64, you know, the ones we got on there at Chama. Got on 64, heading toward Taos. Man, this road is rough. Yeah. Speed limit 60, but we're not even doing 60 because it's just bouncing around so bad. Bumpy over there. Might be a bump right here. Look out. This got, got potholes and stuff everywhere. Be on the lookout. 
Yeah, big bump. This road is chewed up, horrible. Big bump. It's like two or three inches deep. Oh, it says right here, Raton Pass, 7,834 feet. Welcome to Colorado. Okay, welcome to Colorado. Now those mountains up over there, straight ahead of us, those are called the Spanish Peaks. Oh yeah, okay. Welcome to colorful Colorado. Oh, Telling me to turn left. Big okay. bump right here. Big bump. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go. There's a white truck coming. You got a little bit of time. Still a little got time. It. Okay. Cute little river. Mm-hmm. No cars. You remember being here? Yeah, I do. Okay. Mountains, I think. I may be saying that entirely wrong. I'll try to correct myself. And then on to the north of those, the two peaks to the north are going to be the Spanish peaks. So we may not see it for just a few more minutes. Wowza, wowza. Boy, these are some beautiful mountains out here in southern yeah, Colorado. Yeah. Just unbelievably beautiful. Now we're still going west. And we haven't been able to see the Spanish peaks yet, but we'll get back with you whenever we do. Little town of Stonewall. Now you know why it got its name. the totem pole. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Cool. Did not even know this existed back here. Uh-uh. No. Wow, look at that. Just unbelievable. Just a, a sheer that's rock so formation that's thrust up out of the ground. Yeah, it's a wall. Yep. Now we're on the other side of it. Unbelievable. That's more fascinating than the Garden of the Gods. Oh, well, yeah. It seems to go further than what the Garden of the Gods did. See where the the rocks have broken off up there and rolled way out here. And there's one of the Spanish peaks. Wow, look at that over there. Yeah, a lot of snow. It's like now we're going over the top of that wall. There's both the Spanish peaks. Yeah. Yeah. Deer, lots of deer. Yeah. 
more deer. They're scruffy looking, aren't they? Yeah, they're shedding off their winter coat. Probably a Corps of Engineer Lake. I'm sorry, not Corps of Engineer. WPA. Yep. San Isabel Forest. Oh, this is Cordova Pass. Oh, well, I'm, no, yeah, this is Cachera Pass. Cordova is another six miles on that dirt road. Is that a, a water tank or? Water tank. Yeah. First thought I thought it was a, a year. This is Kachura Creek, Blue Lake, and Bear Lake. Now we used to go up there with, they would take us the kids up there, but. That's not where you camped? Uh-uh, no. No, but it's between Blue, it's between here and Kuchera that we would camp. Okay. Okay, so here's the creek. The creek's right by the water here. Yeah. There's beaver dam. Yeah. Oh, there. Couple houses. And you think there was a park in here somewhere that you used to camp alongside? Good. I don't remember there being any house. I don't remember it being a big hill to get down there. Okay, I don't know if any of my family watches these or not, but we are, we just had lunch at the Dog Bar and Grill in Kuchera, Colorado. This is Kuchera Village. I do not remember this as a child, but um, it's quite a quaint little place. It's super, super cute. And I, uh, Kevin and I'd like to come back very dog friendly. The food was fabulous. And um, anyway, yeah. We think some people here remember where the campground was, where Sarah or when Joanne uh, was uh, growing up. But we couldn't find it, so we're not going to worry about it today. I'd love as an adult to come back and make new memories at this sweet little place. Right. This has been an amazing little town. Mm -hmm. Although we do, would like to find some place a little more motorcycle friendly where we can make a U-turn. <laughs> yeah. But I think I'm ready to go when you are, Joe. Okay. Hang a right here, correct? Yeah, correct. Keep going. Thank you. Wow, look at this rock formation to the right. It's, uh, about two o'clock. That is cool. This is a really neat area. And then right around the corner here, we should be able to get a really good view of, of Spanish Peaks. Both of them should be able to come into view. There's one of them there. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful My curve goodness. right here. 25. So that took that one too fast. We've got 178 miles on that tank of gas. And mine still says that I can go another 122 miles. Mine says uh, another 103. Now we're on the front range of the Rockies. That's not um, Pike's Peak that you're seeing straight ahead of there, are you? Uh, no, I don't think so. Gosh, I don't... All right, we're in Levita. <laughs> and see, this channel doesn't even look familiar to me. We're taking a shortcut out of Levita going up to 160 highway. Boy, it sure has got some good views. Really beautiful views of the Spanish peaks. Okay, so uh, we finally got home, back to the hotel at 4.45, Taos, Taos, Taos time, we're both exhausted, it's been a whirlwind of a day, hey. kind of glad it's done, it was a little stressful, the wind was blowing pretty hard and it sucked the gas out of my car, my truck, or my motorcycle quite a bit, so it kind of freaked me out a little bit, but Anyway, we're back, so I'm back in time for supper, but we had a really good lunch in Cuchera. We brought home half of a hamburger and onion ring, so we'll probably warm that up, but anyway, so that's it, so it was fun. Peace out.